Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV Show, presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everyone. The University of Memphis football team, 4-0. and oh, That's only the sixth time in history that a Memphis football team has started off that well. And they did this last victory over Navy. And, Coach, many people, including you, I think, find that a really excellent measuring stick. It is. And we knew it was going to be a challenging game coming into it, you know, just with – what they do and, and how they do it is just uh, it's always a challenge and I was really proud of our football team uh, you didn't get off to necessarily the, the start we wanted to in the first half but uh, you know our, our kids they, they played a 60 minute game and that's something we talked about throughout the week uh, but it was good to show up there on game day I think that is the thing that impressed me the most you fall behind 20 to 7 in this game and now twice this year in the Ole Miss game and in this game you showed incredible mental and physical toughness well I think that also shows the maturity of our football team and this the, the team there was no uh, no panic throughout even when they went up 20 to 7 we knew we needed a play a uh, big play in the special teams unit with the kickoff return mm -hmm. for a touchdown went into halftime you know we were down six uh, our guys you know we, it was it was a very simple message but it was one that everybody uh, you know really bought into is just continue to, to play within yourselves and uh, I thought our guys did that came out and was able to dominate the second half and it was a big victory for us and it was domination and the whole thing did swing on special teams we always we forget that's a third of the game Gabriel Rogers with the 99 yard kickoff return his very first return but it's the fourth year in a row we've had a kick return for touchdown all in your era well it's something that we we want to be explosive in every phase offense defense and special teams and that's something our kids really have bought into and to see you know our fourth year in a row like you mentioned but our ninth kickoff return for a touchdown uh, I think that's tied for the most in the country it's one that, uh, that that's something that we take a great deal of pride in and it's it's great when you see that show up to help you win a football game and fun to watch those dramatic plays for sure it'll be fun watching this show here is what is coming up up. You'll see both the first half uh, and then you'll see the great, great domination in the second. Inside access, you know, there is definitely pressure on today's college football players. We'll take a look at that. And then the road ahead is on the road in Monroe, Louisiana, a place Memphis has never played before. All that just ahead on the Mike Norvell TV show. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Great crowd on hand at the Liberty Bowl. Navy in town. It's always special when you play a service academy. We've become sort of rivals with the midshipmen because the games have been pretty close. Um, most definitely. And uh, it was a great crowd, wonderful atmosphere. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a, a, a great game. This is a team that was playing as probably as good as anybody in the country coming in. They had been dominant in their first two games. Uh, you know, here they come out the very first play and they uh, they run a play they had not shown. And, uh, you know, obviously had great misdirection. Uh, good job by Thomas Pickens to be able to get them out of bounds. Uh, they had an explosive play. Uh, you know, this is something they've really developed within their offense. And I think it's going to help them uh, not only with some of the things they did uh, uh, here in, in our game, but throughout the rest of the year. The Malcolm Perry, he is a special player, uh, but what he's been able to do in the passing game is, has really made them a great challenge. We're able to hold them to a, to a fourth and short, but uh, just not, not quite able to, uh, to keep them out of the end zone. Um, you know, our kids, they battled, you know, but unfortunately, uh, you know, they were able to score in their first drive. Uh, this was a great first play for the Tigers. Uh, you know, we had worked all week. If we got a certain look, uh, we put it on Brady to get us a, a check into the right play. And, uh, you know, Brady made the, the wonderful run check 75 yards later after wonderful blocking and a great run by Kenny Gainwell. Uh, that's a, it was a 75-yard touchdown. It was a, a great start to the game. That even things up. And, by the way, that's the first time we've had a one play mid-South Chevy dealers drive of the game. But, obviously, it was a great answer. This is a tough team. They're tricky. I want to 
brag a little bit about your prep. In 10 days, you broke down a thousand of their plays going back years. Uh, and that's something that you know having the extra prep is uh, is a is a good thing, and sometimes it can be a uh, even add to the challenge. Uh, there was a lot of information uh, that we went through, and uh, you know our kids they really absorbed it. Um, you know it was, it was it was wild because you play a, a ball control offense like Navy, they're going to stretch you sideline to sideline. Obviously, you know, some of the weapons they have, starting with their quarterback, uh, presents a, you know, you know some 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 things that we had to work through uh, throughout the game. But then we have the one play touchdown. Uh, so I mean, they had they had an extended period of time. Our defense was playing a lot of snaps, uh, really just uh, you know trying to trying to get get settled down to what they were doing. There's Jaleel Clemens, a young freshman who we talked a lot about. But uh, you know, these are like this. These are things That's that a uh, new wrinkle. Yeah. The Navy announcer told me that was the best pass he's ever seen Malcolm Perry throw it was a beauty and you're down again and the ball's all over the place yeah you know here that you know they're, they're, they're an aggressive defense and that's something they've, they've changed in uh, in their uh, in their scheme they brought a lot more pressure you know they were able to have a, a, a couple really good play calls uh, their defense was swarming swarming around the field uh, around the field uh, you know I thought they did a nice job in, in what they were doing it was tough for us to get in a rhythm uh, you know, especially early. I think we only had 15 offensive snaps, uh, but our guys, you know, they kept playing. This was a, uh, a really nice throw at Brady to Antonio Gibson. Uh, you know, I, I know we talked last week about Antonio and the development that he's had. I think he's really uh, 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 showcasing himself as a real go-to guy. You know, we were able to get the, the run down in, inside the 10 with uh, Kylan Watkins, and then this one, unfortunate plays. They bring an all-out blitz. Uh, Brady did not, you know, did not see it on this play. Um, and then, you know, the unfortunate thing is that we have the, the, the turnover. It was something we cannot do inside the red zone. And, um, you know, it just it was, it was disappointing uh, to see that drive in that way. And once again, their passing game, is uh, that's what really you know, makes this uh, challenging with all the things they do in the run game. But pushing the ball down the field and completing passes like that, um, you know, it was, a, it was a great challenge. The unfortunate thing is you had a first and goal to maybe take a lead. Now you're down 20 to 7. This changes the game. Well, uh, you know, Gabe Rogers and his first uh, his first kickoff return as a Tiger, uh, a wonderful blocking by by all ten guys. Uh, you know, and then Gabe does his job. I mean, he hits it. Uh, you caught the caught the ball going backwards a little bit, but was able to get it up the numbers, and uh, you know, just showed off tremendous speed. That was a critical critical play in the game, and really kind of gave us a, a boost of energy, kind of flipped the momentum a little bit. But uh, you know, here on the third down, we had a third and medium, you know, in uh, in field goal range. We had a mistake up front, uh, went the wrong way with uh, with one of our linemen, and then uh, we we trotted uh, Riley Patterson out there for the long field goal. Had plenty of leg, just missed it just a little bit to the left. He does have plenty of leg. There is no doubt about it. By the way, Gabriel Rogers has he, he had to go through an audition with you to get that position. He didn't really return kicks. There's the yardage in Memphis struggling in the passing game. You know, they had that one play for 75 yards on the ground. The Navy's D was really good, and they got 217 yards. So they actually were the more dominant team, but the special teams play, I think, sort of swung Mo. Well, you know, you look at it, and we had the two explosive plays, and to, to, to play as, I could say, almost as bad as we did in the first half, only to be down six going into halftime, showed a lot of resiliency from our kids. Um, you know, we knew that the, we just needed to calm down a little bit, eliminate the mistakes. Uh, you know, they had played well, but, you know, like I said, we only had 15 snaps on offense. Uh, you know, we needed to come out and respond in there in the second half. And respond they did. We took a look at the second half here in just one minute. You're going to love this one, so don't go anywhere. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. It is a six-point game, Navy on top at the half. You, you talked about p patience and, and how critical that was, but you had to make some adjustments the way you dominate the second half, both sides of the ball. What really were those keys? Well, we wanted we wanted to kind of slow things down a little bit offensively, you know, we have sustained some drives. Um, you know, we had, we had, I thought we had a great plan in, in our attack. Uh, you know, let take some of the quick hitters on the perimeter, kind of get Brady into a little bit of a rhythm. Uh, you know, obviously Antonio Gibson, you know, kicking off here the second half with a big return. 
And then defensively, we wanted, we wanted to press, you know, force the issue a little bit. We wanted to try to force Malcolm Perry to get the ball out of his hands. You know, try to continue to uh, to put our pads on him. Um, you know, here this is, uh, you know, come out, got great field position. Um, you know, gave up a little bit of pressure there. You know, didn't start off the way we wanted offensively, but a great special teams play, a punt by Adam Williams to get them pinned within inside the 10 yard line. And you can see really the aggressiveness of our defense. Everybody was attacking. I thought Coach Fuller did a nice job of, uh, of like I said, really forcing the issue. Got a uh, got a three and out, and then this this is where we went to uh, some of that quick passing game. Uh, nice little uh, you know 12 yard gain out to Kadarian Jones. Thought he did some really good things. Uh, you know Kenny Gainwell. Great blocking up front. You see the receiver, Coxie, you're blocking 15, 20 yards down the field. I mean, just really got us into a little bit more of a rhythm. This is what we what we needed to see show up. And, uh, you know, I thought every person uh, on the offense, so, you know, really maintained their poise, uh, went out there and played at a high level. Kadarian with another uh, uh, you know, you know, big gain out there uh, on, the, on the easy spot throw. And uh, you know, here this was a, this was this was critical. You know, we had the sprint out, sprint out pass, nice, uh, nice throw and catch to uh, uh, to Kadarian, Kadarian Jones, who had a great series uh, to finish up in the end zone. Uh, it it kind of really took a lot of the pressure off, and you, you could see our guys' the confidence continuing to grow. The defense led by Sanchez Blake and Austin Hall, Tim Hart, Thomas Pickens. You guys really swarmed and just really shut Navy down. They could only get a field goal this whole second half. Yeah, that was, a, I thought they did a great job. And then, you know, this was, this was one of the other critical plays in the game. You had a third down and long, had a couple penalties before that. Um, but Brady with the, with the deep, I think 73 yard uh, touchdown pass to Antonio Gibson, Gibson, hit him right in stride. That was a, a huge play in the game. Uh, you saw our guys smiling. You saw our guys with excitement. Everybody was feeding off each other. But you watch defensively, you see how we were attacking. I mean, it, it, we're trying to get the ball out of Perry's hands, trying to force the issue on it. Uh, you know, they, they went to their bag of tricks with the reverses and, you know, trying to get the ball to the perimeter. Uh, like I said, this is a, this is a challenging offense to go against. But our guys were relentless in just their effort. And this is this is where you see our team speed. That's what you want to see as a coach. Is that every time that that ball, whether it was handed off on the dive or out on the perimeter, man, you got a bunch of black jerseys that were swarming, and uh, you know you can see the energy which our guys are playing with. O'Brien Goodson swarm there. Here's the field goal attempt, and good. And that was his longest in his career. He's just a freshman. And uh, you still have a lead, but it's down to five. Yeah, this was a huge drive. So it's a five-point game. We get the ball back. Got the screen pass out to uh, Kenny Gainwell. Obviously, they, they tackled him by his uh, horse collar there, um, you know, to be able to, to push the ball down the field. And then this is one of my favorite plays of the game. There, Brady, early in the game, was, was quick to run on a couple situations. Brought a couple hitches up into the pocket. Found Coxie on the dig. Unbelievable throw and catch. Uh, and uh, you're getting the ball in the end zone to extend it to a 12-point lead. Big you know breathing room here you could feel that and you could feel something go out of navy and you just had so many stars in this game all tall i thought jones was great gibson was great how about kenneth gainwell another game over a hundred yards yeah no and then this was a drive that you know defense went out got a stop we got the ball with nine minutes we wanted to try to take control of the, of, of the game and try to end the game as much as we could uh, in that situation ended up having over a five minute drive a couple third down conversions uh, you know, really ran the clock down where they had no timeouts, forced them into a two-minute situation, and then uh, Sanchez Blake with the big interception to seal it. And uh, you always love uh, uh, going victory formation there to end the game. You you had that heavy package in, and Joe, Joe Dorsey was with a catch and a spin move. My goodness! And now look at how much closer the numbers get. And you like that balance, almost 200 yards through the air, 105 on the ground. Gainwell another 100-yard game. And Navy was really limited in the second half. They were. I think we held them to, to right at 80 yards in the second half, but forced a couple of uh, three and outs with, with that type of offense. The more that you can, more times you can do that, to put you in a better position to be successful. Offense really controlled the controlled the uh, the game and the clock there in the second half, and see some tremendous performances. Kenny Gainwell, you mentioned Antonio Gibson with over, going over 100 yards, and then Sanchez uh, uh, Blake was was phenomenal. And how about Brady? He only missed four passes again. Accuracy. No, uh, yeah, I mean that's something that. Uh, uh, he missed some plays early, and he understood that. It was something that I thought he was trying to do a little bit too much, uh, but it came back in the second half and uh, really uh, led us to victory. We are going to talk a little bit about Brady White in just a second. We've got some Chick-fil-A inside access coming your way. It's about pressure on players and how they respond.
You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Time for a little inside access. It isn't always easy to be a college football player, especially a quarterback. The Boo Birds came out on Thursday night, but it didn't phase Brady White. I got, uh, I got my teammates behind me and true supporters behind me, so um, I know it's frustrating. Like he said, I'm my biggest critic, but obviously when you're not playing your best and you know, like I said, I know the mistakes that I made, um, it's good to come to the sideline. Obviously, you know, the coach isn't going to like, oh, great, like, great. no, that's bad. Um, but, you know, having a coach that will talk you through it and um, he just listens too. So, you know, he's going to ask me what I saw, kind of what I thought. Um, and we just kind of communicate in that way, and he has my back, and so does the rest of the O and the team. So I knew what I was doing wrong and what I needed to fix, and I was happy with how I responded, and that's all that matters, and we have a W. There's a lot of outside influence is trying uh, that, that might not be positive all the time. It's, you know, you've got to truly believe in yourself. you got to stay, you got to stay true to who you are. you got to trust your training, and uh, you know, that's what he did. It was remarkable that on a third down uh, I don't even know what it was it was third down and 12 15 whatever and we hit the uh, the the deep pass to, to Antonio Gibson I saw him smile and when he smiled I knew it was on because that kid is a special kid he's a he he's a tre tremendous uh, preparation into the game you know he's he he was able to control himself I, I could not be more proud of our quarterback for the job that he the job that he did uh, he showed he showed the the heart he has and the champion that that uh, that he's working to continue to become, uh, man, he was special. You, you couldn't have said it any better, Coach. I mean, the kid responded. That's what you want, and that's what we've seen along all the way with this guy. Yeah, no question. And, and it's really, it's you know, obviously the focus there was on Brady, but it's really our entire team. It's on our coaches. I mean, there's going to be times that that things happen that you know people are, aren't aren't happy with. And I've been I've, that, that there's criticism has come come upon me upon our, the rest of our team at, at different times. But it's how you respond. And I thought Brady did a remarkable job. I was really pleased with him, and you saw that in every phase. Our defense defense gave up almost 300 yards in the first half and you know responded with an unbelievable second half. I mean that's something that that shows the character of our team that shows the character of that young man and hopefully what we're building towards here in the future. The AutoZone Road Ahead is next and it's on the road in Monroe, Louisiana. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Welcome back in and again, thanks for watching. Time for the AutoZone Road Ahead. And for the first time in school history, destination Monroe, Louisiana, 245. It'll be the Tigers taking on ULM. And this is a team that actually is tougher than a lot might expect. They beat South Alabama handily yesterday. And bottom line is they gave Florida State a tussle. They are pretty darn tough. They are. It's going to be a great challenge. It's in a uh, it's in a recruiting area that's uh, uh, that is uh, important to us and our program. So it's good to, for some of our Louisiana guys to be able to go back home, uh, play a game there. But uh, this is a team that, that's going to present some real challenges. Uh, like I said, the, the Florida State game that went into overtime, a uh, high scoring affair there. I mean, this is a team that's played a tough schedule. Uh, you know they're 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 going to be one of the better teams there in their conference, and we know we have to go out there and have a great week of preparation and and play at a very high level here on the road once again. Monroe's not that far. Maybe we'll see a bunch out there on Saturday. We know we'll see you right here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Visit them at AutoZone.com and start the job fast with free same-day store pickup and next-day delivery. Get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College. Under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Memphis, the use of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Memphis and Learfield IMG College.
The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Tiger Sports Network.